Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And today I've got some um, really exciting news. Um, and I'm going to take you through everything. Uh, we're not going to really play a match because I've already played them actually. Um, my work schedule has been so that I, I don't actually have enough time to record full episodes. So I've been playing through it in my own time little bit by little bit. And I'm going to collate everything today. So. First of all, let's go through the exciting news. If you go back to competitions, so you will see a trophy here. We are the Papa John's trophy winners. Let's see how we achieved that. So we played QPR. We're actually the league champions for League One, uh, for our league. We played QPR um, and we ended up winning 2-1. Let's just have a look at the goals there. So yeah, so it's been a long time coming for us achieving any sort of trophy. Um, so actually starting with a loss after half time, and then we managed to come level with uh, with a goal straight after, and then later on in the game, another goal from counter attack. So that was pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we've got a trophy in the bag. Which has been it's been a long time since we had a trophy. I think the last time we achieved any sort of trophy was for the FA Trophy back in the time we used to play in the Vanarama leagues. Then going back to the um, League One, we did the playoffs. We achieved the playoffs. So we finished sixth of the league. So we were third last time we spoke, and um, we I think we just we we had like a loss. And then a few draws as well. We ended up in sixth. And for the um, for the league, we had uh, the first game we won. Actually, can I see this match by match? Yeah. So the first game we won against Plymouth, one nil at home. Let's just watch the goal for that. And a, a counter-attacking movement with a bit of a bit of luck there with um, Dave getting the ball late. That could have been a penalty as well, which would have gone in our favour. And then away from home we drew, so there were no goals in that game. And then we played Barnsley, who finished fifth in the league, and we won on penalties. And here's a news item. And um, oh, hang on, I'm getting a call. I'm just gonna have to put. Put a pause in here. One second. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So as I was saying, we um, won on penalties. I think I've got the penalty. Yeah, there we go. So we got the penalties here. We ended up. I actually can't remember. Can I see? I can't see because we can't actually see the penalties, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah. So I think Israel, our goalkeeper. Uh, defended two, so we ended up going through on four penalties. Uh, one little bit of drama was between our first playoff with Plymouth and our second playoff with Plymouth. We actually lost the goalkeeper. So we go to transfers, history, and where is he? Ian Roberts. Ian Roberts developed an injury. And um, because the injury was so long, it's going to take up to four months. Um, he was recalled from loan uh, back to West Brom. So yeah, so he played the first playoff against Plymouth. Then he got injured in in training between the two matches. So we ended up having to put Israel in for him. That's it. So let's have a look now that the end of the season has arrived. And obviously you will have gathered from all of this that yes, we are going to get promoted to the Skybet Championship. Which is lovely. Now, we're not going to have a lot of money, don't think. Um, uh, da -da. See if I can try to understand where we are financially. We are in the positive, but that's only because we just finished the season and we get received all of that pro not really prize money but like particip participation money um, so 
in terms of transfers, we're going to have a small budget. It's not that big, actually. So I don't know really like what our chances are going to be in the um, in the next league up into championship. I think we're going to find it very very challenging. Um, all of the issues that we've had na now, we're still going to have going forward. So slow development, not being able to get hold of players that are key. We did well this season, but I think it's because we made some tactical changes that because the, the players knew each other so well, they were able to implement and get on with it. We made more money this season than in the previous seasons. We already knew that because of all the changes we made. Record breakers. Uh, yeah, so that's nice. So we got um, highest transfer fee received this year. 15 yellow cards and one red, one red card for Chris Austin. That's not a good record to hold. I was manager of the month in December because I think I won all my matches that month. And then we have Israel, which is the goalkeeper, the only goalkeeper we have at the moment, actually. Uh, he is a fan player of the year, young player of the year as well. Uh, for the club, I mean. Si uh, signing of the year is Murray Campbell, the centre back. All of the year, Jimmy Knox, top goal scorer with 12 goals only. Patrick Casey, 8 assists for Richard. Europe, most player award of the uh, uh, most player of the match awards for the goalkeeper and also our highest average rating. And that's about it. That's about it. Now. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that we had got money for doing that. Yeah, so we are doing okay, but I think we're going to have some issues next year that are very similar to the issues we've had in the past years in this league. We have a few more followers. Nothing really changed in the composition of our supporters. Okay, let's look at the expectations, direct football, counter-attack, mm, nothing new, I don't see anything new here. I'm going to try to remove as many of these as possible, so just... Okay, I'm going to have to stick with them. Fine. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and meet again in the next season. I'm going to try and um, get as better squad as possible, improve on the squad as much as possible. Oh, uh, just to talk about the youth as well. Uh, under 21s never really do much of notice, really. Um, kind of average position in the league. But also another title for the F for the under 18s they didn't win the final did they yes they did oh the the cup final they won the i mean the league final league cup whatever you call it but not the fa right where's the fa fa first round fa third round no they didn't go through with the fa youth okay but they won their league and they won their cup as well for that league which was all they can do, really. I think the FA Youth Cup is a bit more challenging because it's got all the big teams in it as well. So they're doing well. They won by quite quite a big margin as well. I think they won ahead of the end of the season. Yeah, they did. And we had two of the goal scorers. Second and uh, first and first and second were ours as well, with 20 and 21 goals respectively. Um, so yeah, this guy only, he didn't win the goal scoring award because he was injured for a while. He was like away for three months with a hip injury. So yeah, not the luckiest guy with injuries actually. He's been injured a lot already. He's only just arrived at the club this year. 
and he got injured three days and then straight away as soon as he recovered he got injured again for two days and then he was injured later on for ten days and then he had a broken foot for three months and then pretty much as soon as he got back he got a twisted knee for seven days so he's got a lot of injuries I would say he doesn't say he's injury prone but from looking at this five injuries in a year one of them being a big injury he's probably quite injury prone Anyway, I'm kind of waffling on now. Thanks so much for watching until the end. It is an exciting time in this save because we're going to go ahead to Championship League. You know, it's a league, but below the Premier League, we are still a very, very small club. So it's going to be one of those stories where we're going to struggle a lot and it's going to be quite exciting going forward. Uh, thanks so much for watching until the end. If you want to support the channel, just uh, follow us on Patreon as well. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.